The Luminous Chamber of Taunton In an 1873 issue of the journal Notes and Queries, a contributor named Mr. T. Westwood related a puzzling story he heard 30 years earlier from a squire in the town of Taunton. While on his way home from hunting each night, the squire noticed an abandoned house in the area that always had an eerie light shining from a central window. This light always shone from the same room, so the squire nicknamed it the Luminous Chamber. One night, the squire and a friend set out to find the source of the light. They searched every room in the house, saving the luminous chamber for last. When they finally opened the door to the illuminated room, they were shocked to find only a few pieces of furniture. The light seemed to be natural, dimly casting itself over every spot of the room in equal measure. After the two friends left, the old caretaker who let them inside said that the family that owned the building never used that room. He believed that there weren't any ghosts, but that the light was inherent to the room. Here is the journal notes they read a little rough in my opinion. The Luminous Chamber In the year 1840 I was detained for several months in the sleepy old town of Taunton. My chief associate during that time was a fur-hunting squire a bluff hardy genial type of his order with just sufficient intellectuality to temper his animal exuberance many were our merry rides among the thorps and hamlets of pleasant Somersetshire and it was in one of these excursions while the evening sky was like molten copper and a fiery march wind coursed like a racehorse over the open downs that he Related to me the story of what he called his luminous chamber coming back from the hunt after dark he said he had frequently observed a central window in an old hall not far from the roadside illuminated all the other windows were dark but from this one a wan dreary light was visible and as the owners had deserted the place and he knew it had no occupant the lighted window became a puzzle to him on one occasion having a brother squire with him and both carrying good store of ort wine under. Their girdles they declared they would solve the mystery of the luminous chamber then and there the lodge was still tenanted by an aged porter him they roused up and after some delay having obtained a lantern and the keys of the hall they proceeded to make their entry before opening the great door however my squire averred he had made careful inspection of the front of the house from the lawn sure enough the central window was illuminated an eerie forlorn looking light made it stand out in Contrast to the rest a dismal light that seemed to have nothing in common with the world or the life that is the two squires visited all the other rooms leaving the luminous room till the last there was nothing noticeable in any of them they were totally obscure but on entering the luminous room a marked change was perceptible the light in it was not full but sufficiently so beneath them to distinguish its various articles of furniture which were common and scanty enough what struck them most was the uniform diffusion of the light it was as strong under the table as on the table so that no single object projected any shadow on the floor nor did they themselves project any shadow looking into a great mirror over the mantelpiece nothing could be weirder the squire declared than the reflection in it of the dim wan lighted chamber and of the two awe-stricken faces that glared on them from the midst his own and his companions he told me too that he had not been many seconds in the room. Before a sick faintness stole over him a feeling such was his expression I remember as if his life were being sucked out of him his friend owned afterwards to a similar sensation the upshot of it was that both squires decamped crestfallen and made no further attempt at solving the mystery it had always been the same the old porter grumbled the family had never occupied the room but there were no ghosts tile room had a light of its own. Sometimes there are places between the here and there. That are special. Find one and find the light. Stay paranoid my friends.